Hi again. Today we will analyze some forex pairs, and I will start with USD pairs. Um, first, we will discuss the Euro USD. As you can see here, we are looking at a daily chart, and you can see here that we have this support here and this resistance. It's like a channel, and price actually reacted from this gap here or let's say this aura block here and give us like this um doji star and i think we are going lower a little bit i don't um because the as you can see here the long term is bullish so this will be a very short trade because we have also a reaction on hourly short this here this break of structure and uh this here is our first target and if we drew like our fibonacci it will be like 2.61 which is our take profit may go lower but to play it safe we will exit on the first support level second one is bold and actually they are all the same idea which is a little bit a little bit strength on the usd but i think it will be a very short lived move this is our order block here for bullish movement and because i think gold is going upwards not sure of course but i think that i think we are going to if we look at for our chart i think we still need to go to this level here if you want to sell because here also we have like this double tops here that needs to be liquidated so this move here i think it also will be short-lived maybe the first mm, couple of days of the week monday tuesday going like here to this level here and then go up and also to break also this tops here this tops here so our target for this short move will be the 2.38 and then we will buy gold and we will target also 2.38 that's it for gold same idea for usd franc i will also show it here i have already marked this accumulation as you can see it here we have this range spring then break structure i will be waiting for price to go I will mark it on 15 minutes short or even better on five minutes short I will wait for price to come to this level here this level here and I will enter because we why because we also have a very good fair value gap here our target will be if we use like Fibonacci and then look for order blocks here this is a very good order block and also on one hour's short we have also this order block here so I will exit here this may be an inducement but I will exit here 
why I mean by inducement, I, uh, I mean that it may be also taken out and reach three extension level of Fibonacci, but I will exit here at the 2.38. It will be a very good um, target for us. And we have also a trade on Euro UD. If we look here, uh, we have what I think is an accumulation, but I will be waiting for price to break up if it's an accumulation or down, of course, if it's not, if it's like a distribution. But I think we have this double top here. So I think this will be an accumulation. We maybe see another. I have we have this spring here, but we also may see another spring, and then break structure, and then come back for retest, and then I will enter at this level, and our target will be here. We we still don't have um, a break structure, so we can't draw a Fibonacci, or I can't draw a Fibonacci because I like to draw it when I have a, a move that broke structure level and come back to retrace back to to see that uh, where our entry will be and where our target will be so i will wait for this one here and we also have um, on pound new zealand i will remove drawings i think we have a very good selling setup because we have liquidated this double tops here and then mitigated this order block so i think price may go downwards because we also have this huge fair value gap here even that it actually look bullish to me at least because it looks like this. It looks actually like a bullish flag. But as I said before, I would, maybe I will enter it. And I will, because I'm not very sure about it, I may exit like here. And actually, if you look here, we have this move. And it also broke a structure, I guess. Mm, not pretty clear. because actually i don't like to see this type here which i mean that the second top is lower than the first top because it is actually looks like this it means that there is a liquidity above so it may be taken and then go up what i like to see is the opposite of that something like this here whereas the second top is uh, higher than the the first top which means that the second top took the liquidity from the previous top which is here not the case but it's actually actually it's still valid because if you look at here at maybe at lower time frames you'll see that i guess we have this top got liquidated and then break structure a very not that clear but it's a break structure with this wick and then uh, coming back for retest and then going backwards uh, going um, downwards so it is also still a valid setup our last chart will be the pound POD And we will look at higher time frames. It's also not that clear to me, to be honest. It looks like a sell because if we look at a legal look here, we may see this like um, distribution with this as UTAD test. 
been coming back to do another retest. But at the same time, it can be uh, actually um, an accumulation where here is the spring and, and test, another test, break of structure. And this is just a reaction from this as a resistance level. And it may the, then come back maybe to this level here. Or well, this gap here on 15 minutes short and then go up from there so i will be waiting if price tagged this level here uh, maybe at london open or so it means that it's probably um a buy so i will watch it um on london open and i will decide after after that so that's it for today follow for more